continued. I also made a shoulder pauldron out of just the regular aluminum like I did for the five plates and boot plates and stuff. Um, it has webbing that is bolted on with some very strange bolts that have no head on them, just a round surface, or like a false rivet or something. <coughs> that goes over the left shoulder plate and stuff, and then this still needs sanding and crap. And uh, there's the beta flamethrower. Um, right now I have the hose on, and on it and all that stuff. This one isn't mine, it's just a stand in mine. Is a little bit I swapped the hose for mine onto here because it's going to be tested. And there's the uh, helmet. Scared of Arms Destroyer 14 with the cheek bondo and all that crap. There's a strange resin thing going on where there is like a hollow behind it, so I cut off the top and bonded it. Some more bondo. Cut out the vents after like three tries and I cut out the two dot thi there are two switch things to fit a half inch by one inch rocker switch and then LED holder just above I have a internet modem antenna that goes here and that's just a five milliliter five millimeter um, chrome LED bezel um, I have fans to go in the bottom here and then just regular uh, like 85 nm red indicator LEDs for here and uh, yeah the dents I made just with drem dremeling out a kind of a crater thing and then applying glazing putty and spreading it outwards with a 1 8 inch dremel attachment I also removed a lot of excess resin from the ear caps and stuff so yeah, destroyer 14 to 15. Yeah. Oh yeah, these things are uh, some kind of um, jack or something. I don't know what they're for. I just got a bag of them for like 50 cents at an electronic sale. So yeah. Back plate still needs a bunch of bondo and crap. And then, there is the newest thing, which is barely together. That will, of course, receive better stuff. And It weighs like 15 pounds for my DC-17 thing. I also have a stock for it that goes on with a 3.8 um, nut, or not a nut, but a coupling nut. It's a little front heavy, so kind of hard to hold it like this. Um, the barrel shroud is a stainless steel part of a wine rack and then inside is a vacuum part. For the pump head what I did was I hammered a piece of PVC pipe into the uh, vacuum part and then slid that into the pump head barrel and then it's going to get some bondo on the inside and uh, a lot of glue. The mag is made of a XL cassette holder and a project box that goes right onto the previous mag base thing. I also had to cut open the back here in order for the, because this all goes together with a piece of 3 8 threaded rod passed through the entire thing. By the way, this is a uh, just a plumbing fixture, I forget what it's for. On 
going to use this as a bipod mount down here. And the mag was in awful shape, so I had to make my own mount for it. This is the back of a um, fan motor. I basically just shaved down the edges of a piece of ABS pipe, cut it in half, riveted it in place, and uh, yeah, a few pieces of aluminum here and there. There aren't any lenses or anything in it at the moment, but I'm going to put some VHS camera recording lenses that they have right over here. Right here. Not that it'll make anything in focus. But, uh, yeah, I'll have that in there along with some green LEDs in the back. And, uh, yeah, the LEDs for the helmet are uh, right here. Nothing too powerful, just uh, standard. Oh, they're more powerful than I thought, but anyways, they're good enough. And the switches for the gauntlet are just momentary push buttons, but they're low profile enough that they'll work for some functions or they'll just be static. On there, like 250 each. So. And of course, lead free solder. Plumb bone free. And of course, the Golden One helmet will live on. Because these go right. Yeah. I just bolt them on or something. And, uh, yeah. That's it for the time being. By the way, here's the Alpha. I have a micro switch mounted on it so that when I push the trigger down, it activates the switch. And then it'll have hyper bright, like, 1500 nm amber or yellow LEDs, LEDs in the front, but I ordered them last night from Dale Extreme and you know they take their time with shipping, so I estimate those will be here anywhere from let's see, it's July, so anywhere between July and Halloween, so yeah, once those good, good electronics show up, I just rewire the helmet and uh yeah this is what it looks like at the moment I use these uh PVC sprayer heads for my gaunt or jetpack thrusters as well Kind of heavy and all, but with a stock, you actually don't really notice all of the weight because part of it's depressed into your shoulder. So, yeah, like I said, bipod will go in the front. Probably just gonna braze some some three eighths bolts onto the end, chop off the bolt heads, put some three eighths cement anchors, and bolt them into here somehow. Probably gonna have to weld something on, but uh, yeah, that's it for now.